What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So we're going to check out WWE Top 20 Shocking Returns after retirement. You know, somebody retires, they go away for a while, and then they come back. <laughs> it's always a dope pop, dope, you know, situation. So we're going to check that out. No one really stays retiring, retired when it comes to wrestling. Only a handful of people have, so. But uh, appreciate all the love and support, man. Road to 70K and... Man, let's get right into this. You dig it, dig it, sucker. You already know what I'm here for. You see it? Oh. You see it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Mick Foley no longer in the game. Right. Fans are chanting for Foley, for Mick Foley. They had an epic rivalry, too. Oh, yep. A special ingredient needs to be added. Mick Four weeks later. Foley. Foley and Triple H had a fan. <laughs> Triple H sold that. <laughs> sold that, but they always had a, a fantastic feud between each other. Look at you standing out here gloating, Randy. Huh? What kind of man are you? You are nothing more than jealous of your friend, Edge. One more match. Love Christian it. Christian versus Orton. One more match. I accept. Yeah. Wow. Hey, bring him oh. oh, my Whoa. God. Oh. Hold on. Hello? You said what? I said we just dropping them? Mm -mm. Well, I was just dropping those two. We can drop all the muted ones. Yeah, we can. But no muted ones. Huh? <laughs> you gonna drop the, uh, the, the Kanye and game one? Yeah. Yeah, might as well. That hoe is funny. You can definitely go ahead and drop that one. But hey, let me hit you back. I'm in the middle, middle of recording. All right, man. Yep. All right. <laughs> Why are you staring at him like that? This is only goodbye for now. There's still a Hardy on this show. I'm sure I'll see you in the future. Thank you all. Now he's gone again, unfortunately. Nine years. I didn't even realize he was gone that long. What? Oh, Team Extreme is back. Have now been added that was one of the best moments of that WrestleMania. I heard Lita was on SmackDown this past SmackDown. Glamorella beats John Cena and the diva of his choice. Partner from Santa? <laughs> what? Uh, Trish, Trish is a fan favorite for sure. Trish Stratus is out of retirement tonight. That makes me say I believe in Santa Claus. Oh it my God, Jerry. Here comes Trish. Michaels puts on the Trish back in the push Shawn Michaels to early Michael time. Yep. everyone tonight that I would deliver something that would rock the WWE's foundation. The new member to the NWO! Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't remember this segment. Oh, my God. I definitely did not re remember that segment. I was perfectly content in my new role on commentary watching the women's evolution. They awoke the dragon. I am ready to step out of retirement 
at WrestleMania. You, you have been retired for six years. Well, barely. And some of y'all might think that I have a lot left in the tank, that I should have got a shot at that WWE title. I've been retired now for 10 mm -hmm. months, and I'm only coming out of retirement this one time. Now open the eyes, and they still fly! Ooh, but Dolph hanging on! Can I say, can oh, Henry, I definitely didn't Henry. watch that. <laughs> I didn't even know that happened. I'm gonna retire! Think Survivor Series is gonna be Lita's last match? The Hall of Famer! Two Hall of Famers against Elite. Well, yeah, she recently just came back on SmackDown, so. The average man would have been pinned 20 times by now. Oh, stranger! Oh, no! If that would have been a disqualification, boot! Damn, you can tell he's holding his Ricky back right Steve there. After 15 years. Woo! I think I remember that match. I think I remember that match. I'm not sure. My first time in this building was with my best friend and my father. But thank you to everyone from the original ECW. Great people in this organization that I am going to miss so much. Oh, that's cool. That is Boy, we that's have very a cool. Surprise for you, Philly. Toby Dreamer. Oh man. ECW's birthplace right here in Philadelphia. Will it be Tommy Dreamer? Oh wow. Hear the crowd going crazy for that? Love it. Listen to the Tommy Dreamer chants. Thank you for letting me play the game. Oh yeah, he kind of he kind of hammed it up. He was he was feuding with Brock at the time, so he handed it up like he was done from in ring competition, and then he still wrestled some more. <laughs> Triple H making his way to the ring. I still had a little oh, yeah. of that Goldberg. You Goldberg, aka Goldberg. Who's next? His son definitely grew up like like crazy. Like seeing his son recently, I'm like, bro, time is flying by, man. Never say never. Then two years later. I believe he's supposed to have one more match left in his contract. Family man Goldberg, so I left his ass at home. Oh, this was a, a monumental Getting moment as well. From all oh, people. watching that live, I'm not going to lie to you. I definitely started tearing up because he was so emotional. And you know, he didn't want to leave. He didn't want it to end that way. No one wanted it to end that way. And to see him back again was like, it was truly, truly amazing. <clears throat> One of the most heartfelt you, promo segments of all time. With my wife in the back. I am grateful. This is so Two good. Two years ago, when I was forced to retire, this was, was so one good. Of the hardest days of my life. Every doctor I've seen has said, "You are cleared." Does that sound like a good idea? Oh my God. If you're serious about letting me have my final farewell, you'll get the hell out of here right now. See Brad Hart back in the ring one more time. That was a cool moment to see him at, in, years, in, in WrestleMania. Before I got this job, I was it was kind of thrown together or whatnot, but you know, 
it's, it, it was still a kind of a, a good feel moment to see at the time. My car cleaning toilets. I didn't think any of this would happen. And I'm going to hug her and I'm going to tell her I love her and all the money in the world can't buy her that. <laughs> Thank you for letting me share my life with you guys for the past nine years. I love you to death. Let's go home. I think, was this a storyline he had to leave because the, the stipulation, something with the Nexus, if he, yeah, he had to leave or something like that? It, I forgot what stipulation it was with the Nexus where basically he had to leave if he, if, if, uh, if it was Bray, uh, uh, Way Barrett ended up losing the match, he would be fired or something like that. It was some stipulation where he was supposed to be fired. And then he... And that's and then like maybe a week the next week he was just there causing havoc for the Nexus. <laughs> it's John Cena. What's John Cena? That's literally what it was, bro. He was fired for one week. John Cena. He had a look at this. Ooh. 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 <laughs> he was beating up everybody in the Nexus. Yep, and then one year later. It was a basically a squash match. Because I'm thinking he all right, he's done. And then he comes back <laughs> next year to squash John Cena. I was like, uh, okay. I really wish they would have kept HBK retired. Because this was a real emotional King moment. Shawn Michaels has left the building. I wish they would have just kept him retired. Think about the last eight and a half years. Are you ready? Degeneration X is ready to work for you. I just wish they would have. He should have stayed retired. Cause that match, I didn't even watch it. I just saw clips of it. It was awful. It was awful. That match, DX versus the Brothers, Destruction, awful. Generation X is back. I've been wrestling professionally for 22 years. Everything comes to a close, and 22 years is a long time. I've suffered some serious injuries. I don't want to hang around for people to say, I remember when Bruno was great. I'd not retire at this time. I will be one of those people that I used to hear people talk about. I want to say, isn't Bruno, Mar uh, Bruno San Martino one of the longest reigning champions of all time? Like, his reign, his title reign was ridiculously long. And he's still good, but he's not the man he used to be. Oh, here they come down the runway, led by... Ladies and gentlemen, David... Does he look in great shape? Oh, and they love him. I have to retire. Oh, this one. I can see this one being number one. This one, definitely. He was gone for so long, bro. If you ask me if I do it again, in a heartbeat. Thank you very much. You think you know me? This happened in Houston, bro. Oh, my God. It was so cool. <laughs> you think you know me oh i love it man i love it when he came back that pop was tremendous oh i loved it comment down below let me know what was your favorite return from a retirement uh it's gonna have to be the edge one for me because of the moment i granted people knew it got leaked but it's still when his music hit you think you know me it was crazy and it, it, what made it even more special it happened in my city at, at minute maid park crowd going insane ah beautiful moment 
And ever since he's been back, he has been just fantastic in every single program segment he's in. He's the best thing, damn near, on that show. One of the best things. Whatever show he's on, it's just great, man. I, I, Edge's run again, his, his his later years in running, like his, his a grizzled older Edge, he is putting on the best work I've seen in his entire career. That's just my personal opinion. But appreciate all the love and support, man. Road to 70K. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.